Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm partnering with Thrive Market. Thank you guys so much for sending me everything that you did. So for those of you who haven't heard about Thrive Market, they're an online marketplace where you guys can get a ton of healthy, easy, and affordable items. They sell thousands of organic and natural foods and their foods are actually 25 to 50% less than the original retail price, which is really good. I mean, all of us wanna save a little bit of money, of course. I will leave their link down below so that you guys can shop them. That's what I love about Thrive Market, just because eating healthier, a lot of people have that stigma feel like they can't do it because it's not affordable and it's too expensive with their market that's what their market is designed around is to make it more affordable for people to eat healthier another thing I really like about them is that their website is really easy to use depending if you are a vegan on a raw diet gluten-free they have basically everything for you guys you can go directly and categorize your items to only have vegan or gluten-free items so for those of you who don't know I am on a weight loss journey still I've lost about 35 pounds and I am eating around 1300 calories per day a lot of you guys ask me so I'm gonna tell you guys again I I am five foot one inch. I drink approximately around two to three liters of water as well. And currently I work out around two to three times a week and I do one hour sessions. A lot of you guys ask me how long I work out for. So that's a recap of how my weight loss journey is currently and what I'm doing right now. So I'm gonna show you guys all the products and we're gonna get started. So I got mac and cheese from them. This is made with organic pasta and it's also gluten free. I also got taco seasoning and fajita seasoning. These are non-GMO and organic, yay! Then I got a ton of spices from them, you guys. Oh my God, these are so good. They're all organic and they're all non-GMO as well. You guys actually recommended me this product and told me I needed to get this. So the liquid aminos, this tastes just like soy sauce. This tomato sauce from them, I can't even tell you how delicious it is. It is organic and it's also tomato basil. That's the flavor I chose. I've already opened these up. These are by Unreal and they are crispy dark chocolate peanut butter cups. They come in these little individual packets, which is really nice, especially if you want to just put one in your purse or if you just want a small snack. These ones are 70 calories per cup. Then I got this jasmine rice from them and it is also organic and this is the one that's done in 90 seconds. So I got this organic penne from them. Penne is my absolute favorite pasta out of all of them. It's also gluten free and it is brown rice pasta. So we're actually going to be doing a breakfast quesadilla. So I've just sprayed a little bit of Pam at the bottom there. The next thing we're gonna do is add in our turkey sausages. So I'm actually gonna add in two of these and I'm just gonna use my scissors to kind of cut them up into little tiny circles. Some sweet red pepper. The fajita seasoning that we got from Thrive Market. We're just going to sprinkle a little bit of that over top. A little bit of salt. And we're going to add in a little bit of the garlic powder that we got from them. And we're also going to add a little bit of the onion. I'm going to crack the egg inside of there. It smells so good. Let that kind of cook down a little bit. So our filling is all done now. We're going to fill up our quesadilla. I'm just grabbing another pan over here. So just use one and I cut them into two halves. Lay one of your tortillas down. I'm gonna add in my quarter cup of cheese. And now we're ready to close off our quesadilla. I like to move it to the center of the pan and we're gonna put a couple plates on top to hold it in place. So our quesadilla is ready for flipping. Just grab your spatula just like this and turn it over. Oh my God, that looks so good. Just put the plates back on top. I've also put some mild salsa on the side. And then of course I have my coffee with a little bit of almond milk and also two stevia. So it is lunch time. We're gonna be doing an Asian dish. We're gonna be doing jasmine rice with some chicken. So let's get started. Put some garlic on the bottom here. What I've done here is cubed up some chicken already so that it's easier for me to cook. Add in all of our chicken now. I'm gonna be adding in a couple of chili flakes. Make sure you guys are careful with this ingredient because for those of you who can't handle anything spicy, try not to put too many. I'm just gonna put that much. Onion powder. We're also gonna add a little bit of ginger, you guys. My sister has made me fall in love with ginger. I'm not gonna to put too much because I'm actually not a fan of ginger, but she taught me that when it's combined with garlic, it is a lot more doable for me and it tastes actually really, really delicious. Cut up a ton of green onion into this dish. We're gonna add in our liquid aminos. It smells so good already. We are gonna put in a quarter cup of our plum sauce in here. A little bit of paprika. Add in a ton of carrots in here to give it a lot of color. Add as many veggies to your meals as you can, you guys, because it's just so good for you. And last but not least, we are gonna throw in some spinach. We're just gonna add it in whole like this because when you cook it, they shrink so much. And we are gonna top it off so that we can wait for it to cook. 
In the meantime, you guys, I'm gonna pop this inside of the microwave for 90 seconds. So I have just put half of our package of our jasmine rice inside of my bowl here. It's basically one cup of rice and it is 190 calories. You know it's ready when all the juices at the bottom have kind of dried up. Look how good our lunch looks. And just to be a little bit extra, because you guys know how I do, I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of sesame seeds over top there, because you can't go wrong with a little bit of seeds. And that's basically it. Look how cute it looks when you add a little bit of sesame seeds. This is going to be for meal prep also, so I'm just gonna pack the rest of it inside of my container here. These containers are from Ikea. A lot of you guys ask me where I get them from. We are going to make a penne pasta. First thing we're gonna do is add in our sweet pepper. Our pasta water is all boiled. We're gonna add in Thrive Market's penne. I'm only gonna put in half of the package. The only thing I like to do inside of my pasta water is I like to put a little bit of olive oil just so that the pasta does not stick to the pot. Next thing we're gonna add in is our lean beef. So for half a cup of this sauce, it is 70 calories. I know this pasta is gonna give me about four servings, so I'm gonna be putting four of these. I like my pasta nice and saucy. I don't like it too dry. This sauce is just so delicious. It already has enough salt. It already has enough flavor. I'm so in love with it. I definitely will be ordering a lot more of this because I am very picky with sauces, as I mentioned, and I have not found one that tasted this amazing. And it just tastes like you're going to a really expensive Italian restaurant. Oh my goodness. Make sure I get some of that sauce. Grab our fork and kind of mix that up in there just so that our sauce gets evenly in there. So this is basically the last meal of the day. We are also going to meal prep this pasta and put the rest of it in the fridge for the rest of the week. With my leftover calories, I might have room for one or two of these. They're super rich and if you have a sweet tooth, they would be perfect for you. I just wanna say a big thank you to Thrive Market for allowing me to choose a couple of products from their online market so I can show you guys how I cook with it and how I use it. So that's basically it for today's What I Eat In A Day. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you babes next time. I really don't know who cooks with Adidas pants that they just bought when they're cooking red pasta sauce. I don't know, maybe her name is Stephanie.